Today I'll be covering teratogenic risks of common psychiatric medications. What are they? The first one is lithium, second one is Depakote, third is benzo, diazepine, and fourth is carbamazepine. They're the most common psych medications that causes some sort of a birth defect or harm or puts the patient, pregnant woman, at risk. So what are they? The first one is lithium. Lithium causes epstein anomaly. Lithium causes epstein anomaly, especially during the first trimester. So you want to keep an eye out for that. Make sure before you start a patient on lithium that you do a pregnancy test, right? So you want to make sure you do that. Second medication I want to cover is Depakote. And Depakote causes multiple birth defects. It ranges from neural tube defects to atrial septal defect, cleft palate, and possibly having a long-term double mental deficit in a child. But specifically, Depakote, when you think of Depakote, I want you to think of spina bifida. Depakote, spina bifida. Lithium, I've seen anomaly. Okay. The third medication that I want to cover today is benzodiazepines. Benzodiazepines are known to have floppy baby syndrome. Floppy baby syndrome, benzodiazepine. And they also cause cleft palate. Last but not least, the last medication that I want to cover is carbamazepine, also called Tegretol, right? And it causes neural tube defects, neural tube defects. Make sure that you guys note that Epstein anomaly is related and is caused by lithium, especially in the first trimester. Depakote, know that spina bifida, especially spina bifida, is caused by Depakote. Benzodiazepine, floppy baby syndrome, and last but not least, Tegretol causes neural tube defects. I hope this was helpful. Give a like share with someone that you know or that could benefit off of this. Thank you. Have a great day.